Do you have it? Ooh. Do, 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 do you have it? Go. Sports show where kids live out their greatest sports fantasies. Well, it is showtime in our arena right now, and I hope you're ready to see some action because our players are going to battle their way through four outrageous events, and after that, they'll get a chance at tackling our radical rock, the Agro Crag, where almost anything can happen. The player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner, and he or she will be able to take home a glowing piece of our awesome rock. Now remember, all of our events are specifically designed with our players' safety in mind. They will be wearing safety equipment, and we'll have a professional stunt coordinator and stunt spotters with them at all times. So please, do not try this at home. Now on to our first event, which is called Spirals. We got a little football touch right here. Now imagine, you're in the Super Bowl, all right? And you're Phil Simms of the New York Giants. You're rushing this way, that way, this way. Bruce Smith is coming at you. How do you get away? You just jump up. That's Elastic Sports. Let's go to Mo, our referee more quirk for the rules. Mo. Thanks, Mike. At the sound of my whistle, all three players will jump off the aerial bridge with a football in their hands. The object of the game is to get as many footballs as possible through the tyre in 45 seconds. Players must bounce on the ground before they throw their footballs, and the player with the most balls through the tyre wins. Players, on your mark, get set. Yeah, that's right, folks. Call the NFL because Elastic Sports is the way things are done in football now, folks. You see our players here are stuck from the needle. They can jump over any front line in the entire league. College, nothing. Penn State, Notre Dame, bring them on. You want the NFL? I got that too. The World League, bring it right at us. We got it all here. Sports, we play with these elastic cords, and you see right now on the end, Drew is really threading the needle in the purple. And right there, Heidi Thor Thorson, as she puts one in there too. It doesn't matter, time is running out. If it goes in and pops out, it still counts. So time has run out in this event. Our judges right now giving the scores to our referee, Maura Quirk. And she will give us the results momentarily. She's ready now, Mo. In first place is Drew in purple with seven footballs. In second place, Heidi in red with four footballs. In third place, Jason in blue with three footballs. Mike. All right, take a look right here at Jason as he goes up and in and arm cocked back, releases his shotgun and puts one through. But we got our winner right here. Give me some skin on that one. Nice job on that one. How did it feel to be flying like that? Great. Beautiful thing? Yes. <laughs> you were going to say something. Go ahead. It just felt like flying. And he's flying. He's flying because he got first place points on that one. Let's check out our leaderboard right now. Mo. Mike, first place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to Drew in purple. In second place with 200 points, Heidi in red. In third place with 100 points, Jason in blue. Oh, come on. It's only just begun. And now it's time for Jason to spill his guts. So, Jason, spill your guts. Jason Whirlwind Witten is an 11-year-old baseball MVP when Jason's not whirling around the other team's defense on the basketball court. He's whipping up the other fans in Atlanta Braves games. All right, and the Extreme Arena ready for our next event called Blade Runners. Our players are going to strap on some inline skates and make their way around a lot of obstacles right here. 
A lot of obstacles like the limbo bars and then the slalom and then the sack attack and then through the uh, up on the ramp and then down across the finish line. So let's go to Mo and check the rules out. Mo. At the sound of my whistle, whistle, each player will race around the track. They must negotiate each obstacle before moving on to the next and time penalties will be added for any missed obstacles. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. All right, so Jason in third place going to this event. Goes to the limbo hurdles and he makes it through right there. Now the slalom, you need good, good energy as you come through the stack attack. And he's coming down across into the last stretch. He's making great time, folks. Bobby Orr couldn't do it better. And Jason, the whirlwind. Shows you why his nickname is the whirlwind. Let's go to Mo and get the official time on that. Mo. Jason in blue clocked in at 17.7 seconds. 17.7 seconds. Okay, Heidi Thor Thorenson ready to go. On your mark, get set. All right, so Heidi, as she makes it under the limbo hurdles, you got to go under her, not over her, and as she makes it around, the slaloms it into the sack attack. A lot more tentative than Jason was. I spoke to Jason before, and he said he definitely practiced playing street hockey. And Heidi also practices skating. Here in these inline skates with this sort of tremendous pressure here in the Extreme Arena. Let's go to Mo and get the results. Heidi finished in 21.8 seconds. 21.8 seconds. Okay, so now Drew, our leader going in this event, is ready. On your mark, get set. And here's Drew. His nickname is Danger. And look at this man attack that. Oh, I don't know. Jason may have to worry about this one. Drew in first place going into this event and makes it through the sack attack. Oh, he's making good time, but I don't know, folks. All right, let's go to Mo and find out the official time on that one. <laughs> Drew clocked in at 17.6 seconds. That puts him in first place. Jason in blue in second place. Heidi in red in third place. He beat him by one tenth of a second, folks. 17.6. And look as he blasts through that sack attack. Making it around this turn and under the car wash. Right through there as he came on down and up the ramp and flying along there, crossing the finish line. Another first place finish for Drew. I got him right here. You knew you had to get around that fast. What was your strategy on that one? Well, I just concentrated on each obstacle horse, on each obstacle course, on each obstacle, and I just went as fast as I could. All right, and he's a little bit out of breath. So let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard. In first place right now, Mike, is Drew in purple with 600 points. Tied in second place with 300 points each. Jason in blue and Heidi in red. You don't get much tighter than that, folks. One tenth of a second between our gun players for first place on that one. You stick around as those guys giving each other a little high five. Good competition from the back. Sports show that asks, do you have it? Yeah. All right, the Extreme Arena getting ready for our next event. But before we get to that, it's time for Heidi to spill her guts. So Heidi, spill your guts. Heidi Thor Thorson is 11 years old. When Heidi's not hammering softball, she's finding new ways to display her trophies. All right, and that is Heidi. And we will see if Heidi's softball expertise comes in handy in our next event, Wild Pitch. They're going to take place right here on our floor in the Extreme Arena. Imagine Roger Clemens, Dwight Gooden, and Dennis Eckersley all pegging fastballs at your head. Well, that's what we're going to simulate right here in this next event. Our machines hurtling pitches at our players. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo! Mike, each player will have 60 seconds to hit as many balls as possible. They must stay in their designated area, and the player who hits the most balls wins. So players, in your places, please. On your mark, get set. And they are off, and the pitches have begun to come out of our players. Jason and Heidi right here in second place. They got a tie for second place. And they're going to try to break Drew's perfect score. Pitching machines, pitching tennis balls at our players. And remember, they're going to try to hit everything that comes by them. It isn't like batting practice. These are wild pitches, as you can see, coming at all different angles as Drew stays in the box. Right there, Jason seems to be getting some good plastic. Pat on the ball right there, and he's getting a good live drive. Oh, boom! Oh, that's coming close to me over here. 25, oh, boom, ow! Oh. All right, 22 
seconds. And they're doing good as Heidi stepping in. Looking a little stiff at the plate, but she's got some good fat motion there. 15 seconds left. And it looks like Drew is keeping a good eye on the ball at that right there. And then we have Jason. Eight seconds running out. Will Jason or Heidi be able to take the first place finish in this game? They need it. Three seconds left, two. And one second left. What's going to be the result? We'll check it out right now. So right now, all of our judges are tabulating the scores and then giving them to our referee, Mora Quirk, when Mora has it. And it looks like she is ready. Mo, what are the results? i tell you, Mike, one of our players landed me in the throat. Okay, we have a tie in first place. Drew in purple and Jason in blue each hit 23 balls. In third place is Heidi in red who hit four balls. Now, who hit me? All right, a little tie for first place right here. Tie score. Look at Drew. He was really getting some good plastic on the ball. He hit more in the throat over there. Yeah, that's what she said. Why, well, but she's all right. She'll be back later to get some good plastic on the ball. I tell you, they really start smacking these bats on this ball, and that ball's going everywhere all over the extreme arena. And I tell you, they, you guys, I can't even see you. Where are you? Oh, yeah, there you are. Oh, man, I tell you, you were smacking those things everywhere. What do you think of that last event, Heidi? It was fun, and I really liked it. And, Jason, you got a uh, first-place finish, a tie with Drew. Did you like that last event? Yeah, I loved it. I played baseball, and I just tried to hit the best I could. All right, so let's check out where we stand on the leaderboard right now, Mo. Drew in purple is in, in, the, in the lead with 900 points. In second place, Jason in blue is 600 points. In third place, Heidi in red with 400 points. Well, yeah, Drew still has got his perfect score, and now it's time for him to spill his guts. So, Drew, spill your guts. Drew Danger Lindsay is 11 years old. Drew is the ultimate sports competitor. He is dangerous to the competition no matter what the sport, especially on the black diamond slope of Colorado. And Drew the Danger Man definitely living up our next event over the top right here. Drew with 900 points. The man has a perfect score. Will he be able to hold on to it in this event? We will soon see. Our players are going to strap a harness onto their back. Go on to the Elastic Sports and hopping over our hurdles. See if they can break any Olympic records. Let's go to Mo. Mo. Mike, our players will get three shots to clear the high jump bar at six feet nine inches, seven feet five inches, and eight feet one inch. Only their best jump will be counted, and the highest overall jump wins. Okay, are you ready up there? On your mark, get set. All right, so Jason sets off right there, and he's jumping over six nine. Very good work on that one, folks. Now, he got 300 points for that last event. Wild pitch. He did a great job on that, and he needs a good jump here. He's going for 7-5 right now. On your mark, get set. He's anxious. He the man is ready. On your mark, get set. All right, so Jason now going for 7-5. Oh, and he knocks the bar off. He will get one more shot at that. Now, we have three different levels, 6, 9, 7, 5, and 8, 1. Jason will get, as I said, another shot at 7, 5 and see if he can have that as his highest jump. On your mark, get set. All right, Jason right here needs those first place points. And no, he is not going to get up there right there. And hanging in frustration like a puppet on a string. Let's go to Mo and find out. Jason cleared 6 feet 9 inches. All right, so six, nine. And the, he is happy after getting down off of that one. And we will now see Heidi as she gets up onto the aerial bridge, put the elastic cord on her, and she will jump away three shots at whatever she can get. Six, nine, the first uh, height that she will try to beat. And she'll have to, of course, tie it first off. Go ahead, Mo. On your mark, get set. All right, so Heidi is up, and no, she takes a little seat on that bar right there, so she will get another shot at clearing 6-9. If she can tie Jason with 6-9, then she will get one shot at 7-5. So on she's your ready. mark, get set. All right, so Heidi with 400 points, also needing a first place finish, but she's going to have trouble right there as she bumps right into the bar. She's getting back up, and she will have one more shot as you take a look at Jason right there. There is Heidi getting back up on the aerial bridge. She's going to need to concentrate right on here. On your mark, get set. All right, the strategy in this event, of course, to get a nice push off right there, and she did it as she leaps over the 6-9 level. 
And I believe ties Jason for first place. We'll go to Mo, though, and get the official ruling. Mo. You are correct, sir. Heidi also cleared six feet, nine inches. All right, six, nine. It's like jumping over Magic Johnson's head. We couldn't get Magic in here, though. He wouldn't stand in the line. He was too afraid of our guts players. We get too much intensity, man. All right, and as you see, Jason and Heidi were taking a look right there as Drew, he's going to get three shots to... Tie 6-9, and then, of course, you know, if he can beat 6-9, he'll stay with a perfect score. On your mark, get set. All right, so Drew, up and over. Oh, no problem at all. Nice little bend of the knees right there. And he has tied 6-9, so he will get at least two shots at 7-5. On your mark, get set. All right, Drew, right here. Up and no. All right, so he does not get... 7-5. We will see if he will be able to get it right here. Otherwise, we will have a three-way tie for first place in this event. On your mark, get set. All right, so Heidi and Jason taking a look on. Will he be able to get the jump? And no, he takes a seat on the bar. Let's go to Mo for the results. Well, we have a three-way tie, Mike. All three of our players um, jumped over six feet, nine inches. All right, six, nine. So our players all splitting first place on that one. Let's take a look right now at Drew. He came into this with the perfect score and had to clear 6-9 to at least tie. Jason and Heidi gets right over that one right there and takes the perfect score, holds on to that perfect score right now. And he's running over here after this event. We got Jason and we got Drew. Now, Jason, um, talk to me about that last event. Is it hard to get that sort of height that you were getting up there? Yes, it is. It's very hard. I was trying the best that I could, but I just couldn't get 7-5. And, and how about yourself, Drew? You had a perfect score going into this event. You uh, tied on the 6-9. You didn't get 7-5. Why do you think it was harder to get that one? Because you had to lift your legs up higher, and I wasn't just doing that. What are you expecting from the aggro crag now, going into this event? Um, I expect to... <laughs> I mean, are you, are you expecting to be surprised? Are you expecting to hold on to your perfect score here? Yes. How about yourself, Jason? The, the top of the crag still awaiting all of you guys in our next event. What are you expecting in our next event? Well, I expect to just do my best, and it's going to be hard, but I'll just accept the challenge. Okay, so our players are ready to rise to the challenge. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard. Mo! In first place right now is Drew in purple with 1,200 points. In second place, Jason in blue with 900 points. In third place, Heidi in red with 700 points. Six, nine, seven, five, eight, one. Very high places to jump, but we got the mountain coming up. The aggro crack. This is no little hill, pal. No hill to climb. This is a mountain with a lot of surprises like rock and slide and mess and slob. Oh, boy, folks, you stick around because this is where it's going to happen. It's always decided on the crack. Cut the gut. But if Jason and Heidi can go one and two and bump him into third place, he won't take it all. Let's go to the leaderboard. Mo. After four events, Mike Drew in purple has 1,200 points. He's in the lead. In second place is Jason in blue with 900 points. In third place, Heidi in red with 700 points. All right, so there, the perfect score here for Drew. It's all Drew in first place here as he wins the spirals event and takes the lead of the game starting off at our first event right there. And then he goes through the car wash. Look at him power his way around our track. Coming right down the final ramp. Very strong. Winning the blade running event. First place. And here is Jason right here. Getting some good plastic on the ball right there. Comes back in wild pitch with a good performance here in wild pitch. Very nice. Very nice, Jason. All right. And then he sets the mark, Jason, with a 6-9 jump. Heidi meets the challenge with a 6-9 jump. And then Drew locks up his perfect score by also getting 6-9 and tying for first place in the over-the-top event. But remember, folks, here in Guts, it all comes down to the aggro crag. 
and Jason has definitely got enough points to take this away. As, as I said, if they can go one, two in this aggro crack, Jason and Heidi, they will ruin Drew's perfect score. A lot of surprises for our players here in this event. Rock slides, snow avalanches, snow, smoke, slime, water. A lot of things gonna be all around them. It's gonna be tough to climb that mountain. Let's go to Moat for the rules. Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not cross into another player's path. Now during their climb, our players must light up each of seven targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one at the peak of the mountain, will receive first place points, Mike. Mouthpieces in place, helmets on, and minds working, thinking about that aggro crag. Let me remind you that the points have skyrocketed in this final event. Third place being worth 375 points, second 550, and first a whopping 725 points. That's right, a whopping, a whopping sum, a large sum for the person who gets to the mountain first, the top of that peak, 26 feet. Let's go to Mona, kick this off. Players, on your mark, get set. All right, and they are off. As they begin their climb up the mountain, remember Drew is going to continue with perfect score. He is fighting that, and there is Heidi reaching up to get her second actuator. There is Jason right there, ferociously attacking. His actuators and the rocks begin to fall. And it looks like right now Drew is in the lead. Drew is in the lead, and Jason right there. Heidi is in the lead now, folks. Heidi in the lead. Oh, it looks like Frankie the crash Crawl is telling us she missed that actuator. And it looks like Jason. An actuator! Oh, folks! Heidi was at the top of that, and then Jason second! But no, Jason came in! Let's get the official results, Mo! In first place on the aggro crag, Jason in blue. In second place, Drew in purple. He hit the red flag. In third place, Heidi in red. All right, let's take a look at the replay right now as Drew begins his climb. Trying to go for a perfect score here on Guts today. And there's Heidi right there, continuing her way up the crag. There is Jason, our winner of the aggro crag event today. Those falling rocks and those moving ledges did nothing to stop him. But this was the crucial point. As I said, if Jason and Heidi could have gone one, two in this event, Jason went first. Heidi could have came in second. She was right there, but missed an actuator. So it comes back with Drew in second place. Jason came in first, but the determination of what the final results are, let's go to Mo and find out. Mo. In third place today, Mike, is Heidi in red with 1,075 points. In second place, Jason in blue with 1,625 points. Our winner today, Drew in purple, 1,750 points. To the crag as we give the bronze medal to Heidi. She did some nice work on that aggro crag, an actuator or two. And then there is the silver medal going to Jason. He won the aggro crag event. The ultimate challenge here on Gulf. But the ultimate winner, consistent throughout the day, Drew, our gold medal winner. And give him a piece of that glowing rock. Hold it for all of America to see. And take a look at these people. No ifs, ands, or buts. These kids got guts. Do you have it? All guts players compete in Reebok athletic shoes. Life is short. Play hard. recorded in front of a live audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida. Yes.